Hello everyone, this is Harry, this is Vampire the Masquerade, Blood Lies. This is one of the best games ever, in my opinion, and in the opinion of most of the internet. So, this is the world of darkness, okay, this is the actual world we live in, right here, for real life, that is now presented to us. So I know exactly what I'm going to be and everything. So I'm going to quickly do that and then I'll explain it all to you once I uh, do that. So, this is me. You can look at the blue blockers that I wear in real life and the nipple rings that I had until very recently. So, I have an extra point in appearance, because in real life, I really, I really focus on my appearance a lot. I have some really good perception, and I would have to say I have some good wits about me. I have subterfuge, because I am very seductive, and if you don't know that, you're probably a guy, or you've never talked to me. Uh, as for this, I'm going to say I have some security up in this. Um, and also some firearm. I'll take no. Some melee. Pretty good at that. Security because I totally hit blocks in real life and stuff. As for this, finance, really good with money. Investigator. Um, Uh, I'm going to say a point in computers as well, because I know how to do some cool stuff sometimes. Now this, these are all your vampire powers. Uh, you don't obviously know you're a vampire yet, duh, but that's all going to come to you, but obviously you're, you're a vampire, so that's what it's called. Uh, so this, aspects, you can like see auras and shit, it's pretty cool, it reveals shit, you get bonuses, it's awesome. Demontation is the Malkavian specialty. My vampire is completely batshit insane. I'm crazy as fuck, just like in real life. It's like real life, but I'm totally amped up on that vampire juice. And I can focus my madness into other people. And then obfuscate, I can be invisible. Alright? So that right there is pretty much the basic rundown. Everything else we're going to get through a tutorial. So let us enter the world of darkness and see what's up. This is going to be awesome. Viewer discretion is advised. See all those condoms? Yeah. Use condoms, kids. Ah, uh, That shit just healed. Oh, snap! Look at that nipple right There's my fucking luck, right? Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my right to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of Siren. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. 
They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. Hey man, I don't even know that bitch. It pains me to announce the sentence. As up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Well, that didn't have made that paper yet. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred Ah, oh, thank God. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Uh, uh, Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Wow, what a dick, right? Shit. What a key ring, huh? Alright, so. Controls are pretty fucking simple. Got some light clothing. I got a key, a pawn shop room, it's gonna be great. Alright, so let me give you kind of a rundown of the kind of roleplay that is gonna go on here. So, what you hear, me, I am but a voice in my character's head. Okay, so focus on what I say and what he says because it's gonna be vastly different, I assure you. Naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the rope? Wait a sec. Uh, I don't. I don't even. Think... The ropes? What? Oh, man. And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too. Wow. You really are fucked. I don't even. What do you mean I'm fucked? Who are you, Mr. Fucked? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high and low train life story, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You wait her out. I say, yeah. All right. Uh, why don't we uh step out back here? I I am. Right, this is stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now we ain't got much time, but I figure 
Somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? I I can't even see you. Oh man, we're popping a cherry here. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this. Alright, check it out. Blunt, it's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, plus your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready though, cause hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Mm, sounds pretty good. Well down around the corner there I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> Go down there, casually like, and creep up on him with bare those little fangs and teeth. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so natural you think you've done it a thousand times already. Now go for it. And be sure though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to train him dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill. Sure, man. I'm pretty fucking thirsty. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's have a drink. Hello, sir. Um. I have to tell you that you're looking very. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Ah! I feel alive! Oh my god! All kindred. Kindred, that's a our word for vampire. All right, kindred have a few things in common. Think set them right square above humans on a food chain. Alright, man, you can blow that. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's a new sure bet, but still a chance of immortality's not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. Fresh benefits for joining the club. Fuck yeah, you mortality. Right, you can still be destroyed, but forget the bullshit of the movie. Garlic, work. A cross, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak, only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water, that's no problem. I bathe. Oh, God. A shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire, that's real trouble. Sunlight, well, you get to sunrise and it's all over. Right. Okay now. Look at this. Doesn't sound good. You get inside here and head upstairs. You beat up the thing. It's gonna go something like this. I can jump! Aha! One problem. I don't have feet. Oh my god! I'm a ghost! I'm not a vampire at all. I'm a ghost. Shit. Oh. What do we have here? Got a luck, big man. Come down here. Stay away from the window. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat. I didn't vote for no prince. No time for a political run now. Job one, get out of here alive. Spot might be mindless, but they hit like a mat truck, raging savages. Nothing to play with like you must have done. So. Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away.
That's a demonstration of some of the awesome powers of being a vampire. 